Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual EHS Fall Homecoming Assembly. We are proud to present our candidates to you today. I'm your MC, Phoebe Roop. And I'm your other MC, Bailey Camion. Let's get surfing. Introducing your first homecoming queen candidate, Jameson Reese McCaig. <laughs> Jameson is being escorted by Russ and Stacy McCaig. Throughout her high school career, Jameson has participated in softball, volleyball, NHS, link crew, and orchestra. She would like to be remembered for being open-minded and being someone that you can always talk to. Her greatest lesson learned in high school is to always stay true to herself. The person she admires the most is her aunt Sonia for beating her battle with breast cancer and inspiring her to never give up. Her favorite quote is, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents, Bob Ross. She has a goal and dream to one day have her own pediatric dental practice. Jameson plans on going to college to obtain a bachelor's degree in pre-dentistry followed by attending dental school. Our first King candidate is Draven Fowler. Draven is escorted by Kai and Mandy Fowler. Throughout his high school career, Draven has participated in football, baseball, basketball, powerlifting, and prom committee. He would like to be remembered as a person to give 100% at anything. His greatest lesson learned in high school is to have fun while you're here because if you don't, you will miss it. The person he admires the most is his dad. He has been there for him as a parent, but also as the best coach slash friend he has ever had. His favorite quote is, the older you get, the more rules they try to get you to follow. But that's when you have to keep living. Matthew McConaughey. Draven wants to go to school and further his athletic career and major in sports marketing or education and become a coach. Introducing your next homecoming queen, Brooklyn Motter. Brooklyn is escorted by Corey and Christy Motter. During her high school career, she has participated in softball, basketball, volleyball, powerlifting, DECA, I Can Read, Stuco, and NHS. She would like to be remembered as someone who was always a hard worker no matter what she was doing. Her greatest lesson learned in high school was to be kind to everyone and always work hard. The person Brooklyn admires the most is her mom, because she is one of the hardest working people she knows and does the most to never miss anything her sisters and herself have going on, no matter how busy she is. Her favorite quote is, you gotta be a beast, that's the only way they'll respect you. Nicki Minaj. Her goal is after she graduates is to be successful, live lavish, and start a family. Brooklyn plans to attend college near home and pursue a career in dental hygiene. Your next king candidate, Zach Wittenberg. Our second King candidate is Zachary Paul Wittenberg. Zach is escorted by Beth and Chad Wittenberg. During his high school career, he has participated in football, basketball, and link crew leaders. He would like to be remembered for pushing others around him to get better. His greatest lesson learned in high school is that you can always control the controllables. The people Zach admires the most is his parents because they've worked tirelessly to help him fulfill his goals and dreams. His favorite quote is, nobody cares, work harder. His future goal is to open a gym and create his own fitness and supplement brand. Zach wants to major in business management and continue his career in football.
introducing your next homecoming queen candidate, Taylor Janice Barton. Taylor is escorted by Stephanie and Jared Dean. During her high school career, Taylor has participated in orchestra, tennis, leadership, butler, and honors role. She would like everyone to remember her as being kind and making everyone feel included. Her greatest lesson learned in high school is that if you are kind to everyone, they are almost always kind back. The person she admires the most is her mom, because she is one of the strongest women she knows, and she always knows how to take care of her. Her favorite quote is, if you can't make everyone feel loved, make them feel happy. Andre Aceman. Her goal after she graduates is to become a well-known psychiatrist and travel around the world helping people with mental health problems. Taylor plans on going to Emporia State to major in psychology. Our third King candidate is Avon C. Wade. Avanci is escorted by Melissa and William Wade. During his high school career, Avanci has participated in football and wrestling. He wants to be remembered as the most stylish black kid. His greatest lesson learned in high school is to never eat school lunches. The person Avanci admires most is Tupac because he showed people that all your dreams can come true, you just have to work for it. His favorite quote is, reality is wrong, dreams are for real. Tupac. His goal after high school is to play college football. Avanci's future plan is to play college football, and if that does not work out, then he would like to become a mechanic. Introducing your next homecoming queen candidate, Emma Louise King. Emma is escorted by Roger and Carla King. During her high school career, Emma has participated in drama, stucco, encore, concert choir, forensics, NHS, cheerleading, I can read, golf, and FCCLA. Emma wants to be remembered as the girl with the laugh you can hear from classrooms away. Her greatest lesson learned in high school is to make every moment last, even during a pandemic. The person she admires the most is the Lorax because he speaks for the trees. Her favorite quote is, the only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Her goals after she graduates is to make herself and the people around her proud. Emma plans on attending Cowley Community College, then attending a university to become an audiologist. Introducing your fourth King candidate, Des Stitt. Our fourth King candidate is Des Stitt. Des is escorted by Rebecca DeVita and Daniel Stitt. During his high school career, Des has participated in football, swim, and baseball. He wants people to remember him as someone who gets along with multiple groups of people. His greatest lesson learned in high school is to never get behind and procrastinate. The person Des admires most is Coach Bell because he always pushes you to be the best you can be every day. His favorite quote is, if you got a whole lot of go, make sure you got a whole lot of woe. His goal after he graduates is to make a lot of money and have a big house. After high school, Des plans to go to a CDA technical institution in Jacksonville, Florida and become a commercial diver. Introducing your final homecoming queen candidate, Ashley Lynn Nicole Fry. Hi, 
Ashley is escorted by James and Ginny Fry. During her high school career, Ashley has participated in side club, safety council, orchestra, and track. She wants people to remember her as friendly and outgoing. The greatest lesson she has learned in high school is to turn in your work on time instead of procrastinating. The people Ashley admires the most are her parents because they have always been very supportive and loving, and they are the best parents she could have ever asked for. Her favorite quote is, don't worry about failures. Worry about the chances you'll miss when you don't even try. Jack Canfield. Her goal after graduation is to travel. Ashley plans to go to K-State and become a vet tech. Introducing your final King candidate, David Stotts. Our final King candidate is David Charles Stotts. David is being escorted by Chip and Joanne Stotts. During his high school career, David has participated in drama, concert choir, encore, forensics, debate, stucco, NHS, freshman first mentoring, swim, track, and earth care club. After he graduates, he wants to be remembered for being a person anyone can talk to and for driving the coolest mom van. His greatest lesson learned in high school is to stand up for your beliefs and never sit on the fence. The person David admires most is his sister, Emma, for being completely selfless in everything she does, unconditionally loving him and his family, and teaching him that if you want something, go get it, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. His favorite quote is, sometimes you gotta work a little so you can ball a lot. Tom Haverford. His goal for the future is to su succeed as an actor and use his platform to inspire others. David plans on going to college to get his bachelor's in fine arts, emphasizing in acting, and also get a cat and name it Winston. Now it's time for our candidate interviews. Some food. <laughs> <laughs> my guitar, because if I brought my guitar, I could like keep me entertained. And then whenever I'm like going crazy, I can use the materials. Like the string is like fishing stuff, and like the wood for like boat stuff. So. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Like a baby fish. <laughs> so, so I can colonize. Like so I can get infinite fish. Because if you, oh wait. Two baby fish, because <laughs> they can like grow up and then mate, and then I can have infinite fish. Tennis. <laughs> okay, um, you should join tennis because we don't condition that much, and it's pretty easy. Anyone can do it, and you'll have a lot of fun. Mm, tennis. Um, I think you should join tennis because it is very, it's like a very fun sport to do. Football. Um, it'll uh, make you tougher. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a great team sport. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bring back the dab. Twenty twenty, bring back the dab. Football. Student sections, probably. The people. I love the spirit days. Uh, my favorite part is participating in the sports. Probably a horse, because it's like my favorite animal. A horse. Uh, one of the strongest animals. Probably a frog. Why? A gorilla. Um, I have to say a meerkat, uh, just because they're really cute. My spirit animal is a sloth. Probably a sloth because I'm lazy. A squirrel, and if you've ever met me, I don't think I need to answer why. <laughs> Probably a moose because it's the king of the forest. Chicken Alfredo. Probably Chicken Alfredo. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. 
Slow drivers. Bad breath. People snorting. When I was younger, I showed pigs. I can play ukulele. Uh, I'm just one of those athletes that's trying to go somewhere. Thank you for tuning in to our virtual homecoming assembly. Make sure to check your emails and vote for a king and queen. <laughs>